Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAT ABAP new syntax and now in this video we will start with let expression. Many times people will use the word let keyword, many times people will use the word let operator, so one and the same thing. So what is the purpose of let expression or let keyword? A let expression defines variable or field symbols in an expression and assign values to them. We can use the let keyword or let expression in another expressions and we can define the variables or field symbols using this let keyword or let expression. We can define and assign the values to them. Anyways, whenever I will show you the code, you will understand. So with the help of let keyword or let expression or let operator, we can define the variables or field symbols. We can assign the values to them and we can use in another expressions. Now, they work as local helper or local declarations for the expression. It means whatever the variables or field symbols we are defining using let, they are local for that expression. Their scope is not outside that particular expression. Now, what are the various important points? Whenever I will cover these three important points, you will automatically understand what is the meaning of first two lines. Now, first point, variables or field symbols defined for let expression cannot be used outside the scope of the expression. Suppose I will go for the system. Firstly, I will show you. You can see we have a value expression or value keyword or value operator. In this value expression, we are using the let expression. This is our first definition itself. Let expression is used to define the variables or field symbols in another expressions. This time, I am using the let expression into this value expression. And have you seen? I defined a variable. What is the name of the variable? LV underscore input. And I assigned a value to this particular variable. I assigned a value. Now, they work as local helper or local declaration for the expression. It means... The scope of this LV underscore input is in this expression value only. I cannot use LV underscore input outside this particular expression. Suppose simple example. If I want to write this particular LV underscore input, I am using this particular variable outside the scope of this particular expression. Suppose I am writing LV underscore input. So system will give me the error. Because the scope of this particular variable is in this expression itself. It is clearly saying the variable LV underscore input cannot be used here. And this is our first important point. Variable or field symbols which you are defining through let expression cannot be used outside the scope of the expression. Important point from the interview perspective, guaranteed if the interviewer is asking the question, they will surely ask the question, what are the restrictions or what are the main points of the let expression? So first point we covered, we cannot use the variables or field symbols which we are using, using which we have declared using let outside that particular expression. Now, 
we will come on to second again important point variable or field symbols defined for let expression cannot be redefined even if they are not accessible now people will think we cannot use this lv underscore input outside this particular expression value but can we redefine it again because system is saying yes you cannot use outside this particular expression but we can redefine also we cannot redefine also because people think the scope of lv underscore input is in this particular expression that is true but still we cannot redefine it suppose if I want to redefine this particular LV underscore input, suppose I am saying I am going for inline data declaration and I am writing LV underscore input is equal to 2. System will clearly, clearly give me the error that LV underscore input is already declared. Yes, the scope of LV underscore input is in this particular expression. But still, you cannot declare again. You cannot declare this particular, you cannot redefine this particular variable. Now, third point is what are the various expressions in which we can use the let expression? We can use in pond also. We can use in switch also. We can use in value also. We can use in new also. We can use in reduce also. As of now, we have not covered reduce, so we will cover reduce also. So let expression can be used in this particular expressions. And yes, this thing, it makes our task easy. Suppose we are using some expression. In that expression itself, we can declare the local variables or field symbols which we want to use. So what is the summary of this particular video? important starting of the topic and important from the interview perspective if interviewer is asking the question based upon let expression if someone is using the word let expression or let operator or let keyword one and the same thing with the help of let operator you can define the variables field symbols in an expression in another expression and you can assign the values to them. Just now I showed you that in this value expression, we are using a let expression to define this variable and we assigned the value. Whatever the, whatever the declarations you are doing, they are your local declaration. Local declaration means these declaration is only in the, into this particular expression. So what are the important points we covered? We covered three extremely important points. Whatever the variables or field symbols you are using into a expression, using let expression, you cannot use their scope is in this expression itself. You cannot use outside that particular expression. Now, many people think, if the scope is local to this particular expression, so I can redefine them, I can redefine those variables, I can redefine those field symbols. No, you cannot even redefine those particular variables or field symbol. This is our second important point. And third thing, yes, you can use this let expression or let operator or let keyword in pond also, switch also, value also, new also, reduce also. So these all are the important points for let expression. In the next video, we we'll start with the practical part for the same and I will show you the demo of let expression in another expressions. So that's it in this video. Thank you.